Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Story Valley video here on the beach farm. Today is a Bella day, but it is Robin's birthday. We have a new recipe on the queen of sauce. Glazed yams. It is yam season indeed. George sent us a recipe in the mail for fried eel. Uh, and Jody sent us a recipe for ice cream. <laughs> and Louis sent a recipe for a spaghetti. And Pierre sent a recipe for blueberry tarts. We're not done yet. <laughs> Gus sent us a recipe for cranberry sauce. There's boy. Linus sent us a recipe for sashimi. <laughs> Robot pie, thank you, Marnie. We're not done yet. Oh my gosh. What did I do? <laughs> How is this possible? Willie, thank you for the recipe for fish stew. Okay, we're done. <laughs> God. Okay, so... We actually have a horse now, which we got a call. Pearl actually went around and I uh, googled some names for my farm animals because I've been slacking bits lately when it comes to naming them. Thank you, Star. Uh, so I'm gonna try to rename some of them, like whichever names I don't think are like fit the theme of the farm because I'm very keen on teams. Okay, okay, you're gonna be called Marceline. It's your name now. I think it's cute. You have a nice name. Uh, where is my goat? Amber. Okay, no, your name is good too. Oh, we got some goat cheese. Robin likes that. And that's probably what I'm gonna give her for her birthday anyways. Now for these guys. Peridot, that's a good name. Jade, that's also a good name. Apollo, uh, let, let's change your name to Oceana. You, Kurt, are gonna be called Merida. I feel like I have more ducks, where are they? Oh, there you are. No, that's Oceana. Where the heck are my other tags? I have four, don't I? W wait, did I go for them all? Oh, I found more ducks. Okay, never mind. You, buddy. You need a new name. <laughs> no, wee wee. Let's go with Pebbles. We're going with a spooky crystals uh, ocean team. I know, very random. But, but it's working. It's gonna work. Oh, are things down here? Things have kind of slowed down, like, a lot. <laughs> With the end of the season. There's only three items that were missing to complete the community center. The sweet cranberry and the two winter forge balls that we do not have access for yet. And, like, that's it. Then the, the first portion of the game is done. <laughs> the first challenge. Then we're gonna move on to the end game stuff, which... Um, I gotta admit, I'm not, like, as thorough as I am with, like, the start of the game. I have a plan when I start the game, but as I progress with it, I just don't really have one. I just go with it. Let me actually load up the crab pots. I've been forgetting, honestly, because I, I got some pretty good stuff here. Oh, some of the trees have grown. That I was not expecting. It's always a nice surprise when some of them finally grow up. Because we're racking up on that hardwood. <laughs> it's gonna be super good for the end game. Look, I'm already preparing, in a way, for like what's to come. Let me just take care of this very quickly. We'll go to the traveling merchant first. See what's going on there. She has anything good. Anything that we need. Then we'll go visit Robin. Maybe we'll swing by town, see if there's anything going on. But my plan overall for today is just to fish fish until I can't no more. Oh, we have garlic. There's nothing here. But there's some more hardwood to collect here. So might as well get to it. I'm a little tired. Honestly, I cannot wait for winter time <laughs> to start planning my farm. It's not gonna be entertaining to watch whatsoever and to edit the footage. Oh, no, no, no. Um, but like, it'll be fun for me. That's what matters. <laughs> Look, I'm preparing. I'm gathering up resources. I should actually... There's some trees here in the forest. I should take them down. Collect some more wood. Some stone too. I'm gonna need so much stone. I need to see how much I have of everything. And if I'm a little bit low on stock, I, I definitely need to collect some more. Because we're gonna need a lot of resources to build up our farm. That thing is that I can check the trash can while I'm on my horse. I need to get down from my horse. <laughs> Pearl, do me a favor and go for the trash cans for me. You know what's good. You have the nose for it. Uh, require some corn. 
blizzard that I got you. I got plenty of corn. Robin, I sure did with my new horse that he got me. Thank you, girl. My husband almost set the house on fire last night with his science experiment. <gasps> One of his beakers exploded and sent the fireball into the rafters. Thank you, but I used a fire resistant lacquer when I built this place. Like you, you knew all along that was gonna happen. You, you know who you married. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna build next. Maybe a shed. Like, that would be the next logical step. Or maybe another fish pond. We also have the slime much. That is an interesting one. And kind of useless. But interesting, nonetheless. Definitely one, one if you wanna complete the game. Okay. I'm gonna fish up here. On my usual spots. This is the place to be. And I actually have a horse to keep me company. <laughs> hmm. What level am I on currently? Level 7. Let me see if we can get to level 8. Also, I kind of want to remove the, um, the trap hopper from my fishing rod. Don't want to use it up. These fish are not really that tricky to catch. What the heck is Sebastian doing? There's bubbles. Come on, fish bites. Have bait! Just bite! God. Okay, let's move. G gonna have to walk around, Spash, and I'm not moving. <laughs> this is my spot now. Just move! Oh, the boy is puzzled. There's nothing I can do, buddy. But you can stand right next to me if you want. I, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind the company. Wow, you literally just stay there. Did I break the game? Maybe he just, just likes me. <laughs> Yeah, th that's it. That's probably it. Maybe it was supposed to stand here, where I am currently? If that's the case, the bubbles were like... Destiny. <laughs> Wait, he moved a little bit. I don't know. It was fate that brought us together. <laughs> wow, you were really stuck there, huh? Excuses, I don't buy it. <laughs> He wanted to be next to me. Trisha. That is what I want. Please be more bait. I don't have that much. Hey! <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. Dang it, the bubbles went away. Dang it. No more bait. <sighs> it's gonna take a while for fish to bite. At least we're almost done with the energy. Anyways. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Please tell me about somewhere. Yes! Level 8, we did it. Let me actually go check the monster eradication goals. I'm intrigued. Like, what should my next target be? Hmm. Still very behind on slides, but, but not to worry. That we're gonna slay plenty of them. Void spirits. I mean, we also have the doggies. We're a little behind on those. And the sprites. I feel like I should target those that I'm like the most behind on 250 serpents god <laughs> no thank you rock crabs and duggies I feel like that's a good goal for the time being let's start with the monsters that are like on the lower levels on lower on on the higher above levels <laughs> actually uh, 15. Let's see what we got here. Let me zoom out. Do we have any duggies? Hello, we do. Two of them. Fantastic. That's it. Okay. Hey, now I can make some bait, probably. Hey, look at that. <laughs> really? No duggies? Fine, at least we got aquamarine. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. What are the duggies? They have to be here. Thank you. Come on, that can't be the only one. Thank you. Another one? Come on. Come on. Also, where are the rock crabs? Oh, there's one. Hello. Give me another one. Give me another one. This is the first time I'm a I actually want to see them. They're not showing up. Freaking rude. Got a crab. Uh, 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 um, definitely want the bombs. Thank you. Look at that. Dang it, not a single one. What about up here? 
seriously. Maybe over a year. Let's see. Really? Really? Okay, you know what, I'm out. We're calling it a day. Don't want that. Do I seriously need to slay these guys before I go to bed? <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Can make a worm bin. That's handy for getting baits. Living off the land. Fish focus. Voila, you can find this fish on rainy evenings during the fall and winter. It can be found in any freshwater location. Thank you, game. Already caught it though. How's the luck? Can you repeat that? Okay, it's just regular. Good luck. I need the best luck in the game. <laughs> to go into the desert again. Thank you, Marnie, for the free food. Pavel, come here. Gotta plant some more. That's a lot of seeds. Dang. Gotta make some more fertilizer. By the way, if you forget your horse somewhere, do not worry. They'll be fine. Next morning when you wake up, they'll be back at their stable. They, they can find their way back very easily. They're well trained. Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Oh, you guys are running out of food. Because you have no food. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my bad. Uh, I kind of need to ship this feather, so I'm going to get to that. Should probably harvest some more hay while we're at it. The season is almost ending, and then here I am doing nothing uh, to save the rest of the grass. It's all going to die when the season changes. Oh, by the way, we should have a new special order for us. Got some tea as well. That's exciting. Because it's the last week of the season. Uh, we got to it. We're here. <laughs> Do I actually have a good amount of stone? And wood as well. But it wouldn't hurt to get a few more. Let's hope I won't forget to gather a pay before I go to sleep. What is this? Clay. Where am I going? Oh yeah, the wizard. <laughs> I was like, I don't think this is the way that I was supposed to go. Hello, Rosmodius. Uh, here's your corn that you asked. Are we besties? We kind of are. I'm surprised. I've seen many things about your future, young Claudia. If I were to tell you, there could be grave consequence. I know how this is gonna end, wizard. I've played this game called Life a million times. <laughs> Can I go down here? Ah, oh, dang it. I need four hearts with him. To go visit his basement. Let me go gather up the hardwood. <laughs> I can't help it. I need it all. Knuckle. 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 <laughs> knuckle. Oh, I didn't even collect the money. What an idiot. Okay. Let's go see what special orders we got this week for us to do. Hopefully one from Robin that involves gathering up wood or stone. Uh, here's to hoping. I really want to get that one. <laughs> That's the one that I really want. Hello, garbage hat! <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> no one will notice that gone. And the tin being in my head. No, no, no. It's just a natural progression of things. No one will notice this, because I am trash. <laughs> okay, we got the goop again. Rosmodius wants the goop. And Gunter wants bone pieces. I don't know if we'll get any reward for this one. Uh, I don't know. Also, I slayed a lot of skeletons, so I don't need to do this anymore. But I do need to s slay some dust sprites. Huh. kind of feel like going with the ghost one, though. Maybe we'll get closer to the wizard as well. Yeah, let's go kill some ghosts. Even though they're already dead, it doesn't matter. We're still gonna try to get their goop. <laughs> Their essence. Uh, let's start to level 50, maybe. We'll work our way down for here. Diamonds! Don't mind me. Come here, beauties. I need to kill you guys. I'm so sorry, but I need to. Where are the ghosts? Where are the ghosts? There they are. Just one. That's enough for me. Luckily, I have this sword now, which is so... Killy mobs? It's never been this easy. Sadly, though, uh, you are not gonna get the goop on your first try. If you do, I hate you. Uh, but no, you have to kill many ghosts. Which I don't know if it is a part of the Monster Slayer goals. I don't think it is. Do you get any rewards for killing ghosts? If not, it's just unfair. Oh, I got it. Hmm. 
a thick slimy goop that the wizard wants for some reason. Why do the ghosts have these, the slimy goop on them? <laughs> it's my other question. Also, we completed our quest for the week. <laughs> Meaning, as per usual, I'm gonna have nothing left to do during the week. Uh, so that's great. <laughs> Just great in general. I love when this happens. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna fish. There's no rush in delivering this to the wizard. Doesn't need it that much. What I need right now is to level up my fishing skill. Uh, I might have to go home. Oh, pine cones usually float in the water. This isn't fair. Hmm, I should make some more cheese and mayo. And also get the hay. <laughs> oh, the hay, the hay. I almost forgot about it. Got two more eggs. Let me see here. Well, only one bit of hay from that. The game is just sometimes so unfair. Hopefully it'll rain. Because I think the rain helps the, the grass grow faster and spread faster. Really want to get a lot out of my last harvest session of the season. I'm surprised there's no mobs. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry I spoke. Let's leave it at 100. It's a good number. Where did I leave my horse also? Let me take care of that really quickly. This is experience points we're talking about. Really need those. By the way, how do we make a, a worm bin? I kind of want one. I need a lot of fiber for it. Dang. Okay, we got it. Here it goes. Beautiful. That thing is gonna produce as bait every single day. Eventually I might move it to where we're gonna have the crab pots. Because that's just handy. But anyways, I, I'm gonna do some fishing. I don't know where though. Hmm. Do you think the wizard is up? We could go take a look at that. He is still up. Hello, here's your thing that you wanted. Still free hearts. Let's go fish over here in the forest. We have this nice spear right here. Oh, midnight card. That's a new one. I feel like we need this for something. But I don't remember what. It's a cooking recipe. It's just for seafood pudding. But I don't remember. <laughs> Stop moving! God. It's another one. I mean, I'll definitely hold on to these. I forgot to collect my reward. <laughs> I'll get it one sec. Let me just see what I get here. I don't think it's a midnight card. It's not moving that much. Small off boss. Let's see what our reward is. Wow, so much. But then again, it was really easy to, to get this. So I'm not complaining. Boss. Get him. Nice. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. How'd you know? I know it's getting late. Let me just catch a few more. I'm doing well. There's bubbles. I don't want to miss the bubbles. Gotta take advantage of them. Dang it, they're gone. Fine. Last fish of the day. What is it gonna be? Small mouth boss. Treasure. Hello. It is a small mouth boss and bait. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have no problems with bait from now on. By the way, as you cast your line, you can press down on your arrow keys to set where you want the line to be casted to. To your right, your left, so the line doesn't always end up directly in front of you. You can aim at the dark spots because th that's where you can find higher quality fish. I haven't gotten any more row. What? This is travesty. Have I? No! I think it's a flounder in the midnight card for the seafoam pudding. But I could be wrong. Then again, I don't think I know the recipe for it yet, so who cares? Let's just sell the rest of the stuff here. And we are sleeping. Mm, fortune, neutral, dang it. <laughs> By the way, what can I cook? There's a lot of recipes collect and to learn and we're gonna need to make them all to complete the game 
Oh boy, got some more baits. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, the mini obelisk! That's a reward. Thanks to the ectoplasm you delivered to me, I've made a major breakthrough in the field of arcane engineering. In close, you'll find blueprints for a most useful machine. So, the mini obelisk is something that you can craft. Uh, it's right over here. Um, you need to make two of them, place them on different spots on your farm, and you can teleport between places on your farm. It is super handy. Especially here on the beach farm where everything just feels so massive. Have some fun with that one. You know, as soon as I start wanting my farm, that is, you know. Right now, there's really not that much use for it. Even though my farm is a, a bit far away from my house, it's cool. I, I like my morning walks to it. <laughs> Keeps me fit. Come here. I don't think I fed my animals yesterday. Are they okay? They're not grumpy? Yeah, they're grumpy. They're grumpy at me. <laughs> You're looking a little thin. You skipped a meal for a day and you're already thin. Don't make me feel bad. I'm a good mom. There's food right there. You guys just weren't looking for it. It's not my problem. And now they should have some food. Mm-hmm. That is good. Anything in the bat cave? Anything? Anything at all? Oh, some spice berry. I really like the trash can. It's just because when you hold something, it looks like you're wooded on a plate. <laughs> And you're just carrying it around with you. So whenever you have something delivered to someone, it's like you're bringing it to them on the plate. It's it's nice. Hmm. Let's go take a look at the farm. The cranberries are ready. And we got some more tea. Uh yeah, the tea produces tea leaves every day on the final on the final week of the season. It's kind of ridiculous. But that's just how it is. Let's go collect the apples. And I don't know what to do. Do I upsize fishing? So we're just gonna keep doing that. I know, very exciting stuff here on Starlight Shore Farm. But it's just how it is. Did I ship any... Um, uh, what's the word for it? Any, any, any jam or jelly, whatever you call it. I don't think I have. I never put anything in the preserve jar besides row so maybe we could do that okay here goes one cranberry should save a few more cranberries as well to put on the preserve jars the tea leaves as well okay whenever these things are ready we're gonna make some tea but uh well, let's go check down first i guess by the way what do i need for another fish pond got invested <laughs> Suddenly, I remembered. I, I could do that. Never mind, it's Tuesday. <laughs> we cannot do that. <sighs> Tomorrow, I guess. Whatever. If I remember to do it. Where am I gonna fish today? At the beach? I, I don't usually fish there. We could give that a whirl. But we got something here. Our crystal for Sandy. I can give you that. No problem. Maybe tomorrow will be a good luck day. <laughs> could you imagine? A willy! What's going on? Oh, it's a good thing you turned up, miss. I got a, a bit of a problem I could use a hand with. What is it? What, what happened? <laughs> I'd be best if I just showed you. Take a deep breath now. Why? Willy! Oh my god. <laughs> As you can see and smell. <laughs> The old girls ran wild last night. <laughs> what did you do last night, Willie? <laughs> My experiment needs a little work. Um, you cannot handle your girl, huh? <laughs> Ooh, back in it again, huh, Willie? <laughs> they look fresh, all right. They're, they're alive, Gus. <laughs> they're running wild. Uh, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you'll ever set your eyes on. They be a little too feisty, though. Should have just stick to one, Willy. I'll take the whole lot. With a discount for an extra labor, of course. <laughs> Cause Willy kinda needs money, man. This has not been good. Looks like we got them all. Goodbye, Miss Wee Ladies. <laughs> Psst, don't tell Willy, but I'll be doing special on crab cakes at the saloon for the next few days. <laughs> no, that's those are his girls. 
Willy. What do you have for sale, man? Hmm. This Fisher bed is so cool looking. Kinda want it. But do I want like a shack for a house? I don't know. I don't know if I'm there. Where is my horse? Pearl. <laughs> Pearl, I'm so sorry I left you. I have no choice. Uh, we got some worms. Gonna see what these are. Hmm. Dang. Nothing new. Mm, let me sell these things here that I just got. Fantastic. And now we fish, Pearl. Got a fish. Should go to Lonely Stone. Keep us some company. Hello. Got another fossil. Some more baits. Bubbles. Wait, what are my skills? Level 8 still. It's fine. Come on, Bubbles. Come through. Can we those perfect to get more points to level up? Ah, oh, I'm trying. The thing is, it feels like it takes forever to level up a skill. You know, whereas, like, with the other skills, I don't really try that hard, then I just get stuff. Uh, with fishing skill, oh, it just takes forever. I hate this. <laughs> Anchovy? Why does it look like that? Oh, the bubbles are gone. Dang it. How am I doing? <laughs> Please. <laughs> is there any way to make this go faster? Oh, it's torture. Torture pearl. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> the artifacts! We're getting them. I'm also getting tired. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the last one for today. And I don't think I leveled up whatsoever. No, I have not. <laughs> That's okay. Oh well. Uh, what did I have to do? Oh yeah, the earth crystal for Sandy. Tomorrow. I'll see if I don't forget about it. Hmm. Do I want to keep a sea cucumber? I don't know if I am going to use one on a fish pond. I don't think I am. But I could save one. Yes, I could. Also, I don't know why I kept this. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to pick up the earth crystal already so I don't forget about it. Uh, do I have any artifacts for the counter here? Are these the only ones? Okay, no, I definitely have a few more. Okay. Uh, we'll see what's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh, let me go make some more mayo. <laughs> Hold up. I definitely can make some more. We need the money. Today! Gosh, I have a lot of money. Uh, today's George's birthday. The luck is neutral. Dang it! Um, uh, stir fry again. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool. Are you guys happy? Wow, nothing to complain about. Great, I'm happy for you guys. We're four days away. Five if we're counting today, but... Five days away from the end of the season? Are you still baby? God, take forever to grow. <laughs> if I'm meeting with Sandy, I should probably get her something. Right? A gift? Because we don't really see her often, and usually when I go to the desert, I just forget about her entirely. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't bring her gifts. So we're gonna do that today. I'm a good person. I remember of others. And I do nice things for them. Of course. Each. Oh, let me see. For George's birthday, I'm gonna give him a leak. That's what he likes. That's what he's gonna get. Uh, they're from spring. But like, they should still be good. <laughs> Where are they? Okay, there they are. Beautiful, George will appreciate this, I'm sure. Uh, since we're not going to the desert, I'm gonna um, uh, pick up these things that I gotta donate to the museum. It's these free. Mm -hmm. Gonna take care of those. Meanwhile, uh, let me actually, let me also bring the sweet pea for Sandy. We could take a look at town, see if there's any quests, but I doubt it because we have one active at the moment. So today is probably gonna be just another day of us fishing. <laughs> Don't you like episodes like this? Can we get some crab cakes? Dang it. Where's George? Hello, good morning. Here's your leak. I know you love them. Alex is my grandson. Have I told you that already? No, but I just assumed. I, I spoke up. George. Well, tell me what, maybe we can do some fishing in deserts, right? That'll be fun and different. Fantastic. No rewards. Great. Love that. 
I haven't found that many books yet. I am surprised. Oh wait, maybe we have. Is it only these? Should we read them? Tips on farming. Use fertilizer. Fruit trees stay all season to grow. Uh, crops will die as soon as season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. Some cr some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. On foraging, local woods and mountains are a great place to find wild produce. This is a book by Marnie. Oh, she's a writer. <laughs> Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. I know. Oh, there's a book missing. The Fisherman Act 1. Tex. Cordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. Cordy, you must make the choice to become a true fisherman. And over time, your fishing speed will increase. Tex, so you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish faster? Cordy, correct. One day you may even learn the secret of creating your own bobbers, improving your mastery even more. Now be gone. Let me fish, commoner. Uh, how deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is, no one really knows. Or at least they're not telling anyone. Uh, they go to level 120. <laughs> At least the mines here in the valley. An old farmer's journal. Could it be for grandpa? Uh, I've been here for a year now and I've started to make friends with local townspeople. I, it sure feels great. And they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail too. That's really helpful. <laughs> Scarecrows. Once you start growing a lot of crops on your farm, you can expect visited by crows. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. We, we knew that. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for looks. They work just same as regular model. Except for the deluxe one. That one is the best one. The secret of Star Drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by mysterious powers of Star Drop, but no one knows where they came from. Professor R.J. Kaller, a leading researcher on strange fruits, says this. We've disclosed traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resemble the Star Drop, but it's not a proven match. Regardless of where they come from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special power to those who eat them. I don't know, they do. It's a fact. Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? <gasps> Did you know the developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real life character, a true cowboy hero from a prairie island in Gem Sea? Okay then. Uh, next up, study on diamond yields. Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. Oh, I don't say. At level 50, the frequency of diamond formation seems to increase. That feels like a lie, Jasper. <laughs> I, I'm usually a lot more lucky in finding diamonds on the frozen levels, not lower than that. Uh, brew Master's Guide. Ah, uh, to brew. To brew, you'll need a keg. I'll leave it up to you to devise blueprints for a keg. Cats can be used to make several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, the will produce juice. The juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If wheat is placed in the keg, it will produce beer. Placing hops in the keg will produce the beloved pale ale. And fruit will make wine, which takes the longest to make. Mysteries of the Dwarves. The dwarves call themselves Smolano, which translates to sky people. An odd name for a group that lives deep underground, isn't it? But Another mystery of the dwarves is that the advanced technology they supposedly possess. Evidence such as this has led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves are the remnants of an old civilized advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. So they're aliens. <laughs> I propose that this dwarvish spaceship bore down deep underground and over time dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask why didn't they come above ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that, that protected them from stellar radiation and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they will only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. Huh. <laughs> Jasper, okay. So they're thieves. Highlights from the Book of Yoba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called out to itself, Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until a hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From the soul sprung a seed. 
You have a smooth the golden light. You have a smoothed and smoothed. And light became soil. Into the soil you have a planted seed. The seed sprouted and behold the vine sprung skyward, twisting and probing, casting a breathing shadow onto the golden void. After 11 days the vine bore fruit. Yobu, with knowing wisdom, peeled the tough skin off the fruit and saw that the world was inside. And so that is how the world came to be. Interesting. Marriage guide for farmers? Ooh. When you're ready to pop the big question, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Everyone knows what it means when you present them with one of those. It's rumored that on stormy days, the ghost of an old mariner appears in Stardew Valley, clutching just such a pendant. After the wedding ceremony, your partner will move in with you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Paid for by Pierre. <laughs> because he's the one that sells bouquet that you need to give to someone to get into a relationship with them. Fascinating, Pierre. Fascinating stuff. Okay. This will, this will increase the video size, I'm sure. Now, let's go visit Sandy. There's bubbles. Hold up. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Get them. <gasps> Thank you. Ooh, ooh, another book. I'm not going back to the library to read it. <laughs> another time. Okay, slow down there, buddy. Oh, uh, how's it going? Still level eight? Dang it. Okay, they're gone. Fine. Sandy, here's your earth crystal. Yes, it is. Here's a sweet pea. You are so welcome. Look at this. We're besties. Why, hello there. If you see my friend Emily in town, could you tell her I said hi? Of course. What do you have for sale today? Omnigeodes. Thank you. Maybe I can trade it for something useful out here. Let us see. <laughs> hmm. I could probably also take down these trees. I could definitely farm some more wood. Ah, but I don't know. There's nothing here that I really want. Okay, then I'm gonna cut down some trees and then we'll do some fishing as I planned. The trees here in the desert also grow back, just like the ones in Pelican Town. Okay, trees have been taken down. Let's do some fishing. I should use the, the trap over. My fishing rod. It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> Surely it's not gonna be the first fish I encounter. Or maybe it is. Uh, maybe not. No, it feels easy. Easy peasy. Look at that, we got it. It's a sandfish. Now, can I find the, 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 is it scorpion carp? <laughs> I forgot the name of it. It's, it's this guy here. I think it's a scorpion carp. That one's a little bit trickier to catch. It's probably not the best place to do some fishing to level up your skill. But I don't care, because I want to fill up my collections. I don't think this is it either. Uh, I'm a little nervous for when the, the fish is going to show up. Or maybe it is. Nah. No, it's not. <laughs> this is it. Th this is definitely it. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Dude. Dude. This is pain. This is absolute pain. I hate this guy. I forgot he was like this. God! Could you stop for a second? I actually got the trash! <laughs> How? <laughs> okay, that was a fish. That was a fish. <laughs> God dang it. Can I give up? Can I can I just give up? I'm so tired. <sighs> I don't know how long that took. It felt like forever. I was getting so tired. <sighs> Not even mad, I, I didn't catch it. God, never again. How's my fishing skill? Still level 8. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the valley uh, and we're gonna do some fishing in the valley because the fish there are a little nicer to me. <laughs> All I want is some kindness. 
Thank you, Pearl, for waiting for me. You know who loves sandfish, though? Penny. I'm gonna see if I can find her. There she is. There you go, you are welcome. Okay, we're done. I'm tired. Did I level up? No, of course not. <laughs> Uh, it was just already feeling like everything that I need to do for the next part, like to prepare for the end of the season. Uh, we're gonna have a holiday coming up and I'm definitely gonna need to collect all the hay, not forget about the apple tree, gather all the apples I can while it's producing, because then it's not gonna give me anything for a while. Also the tea leaves. I just hope I don't forget something, <laughs> something important. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna... Make some more cheese. Ooh, some more truffle oil. Yes. Actually, the f it's the first truffle oil for the day. Star, you've been slacking. I need to get more pigs. Like, what's the point? They're not gonna be able to come out during the winter, so might as well just save up for next year, you know? Okay, I'm sorry, you guys are sleeping. Do I have anything to smelt any ores that I could be smelting? Yes, I do. Let's get to it. And we shall be going to bed. This is where I'm gonna be ending today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's almost winter. <laughs> almost. Uh, the last holiday is also pretty fun. So we shall see how that's gonna go. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.